Hey, Pastor, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. It's a nice, nice Sunday evening. Yeah, and it's quite warm to be sep end of se September. Yes, it's it's really warm in I in Nakila. Yeah, are you at home or where are you at the moment? Oh well, I'm at uh, my new home. We are moving moving next week and we are at the new place at this moment. Okay, nice. So congratulations for your new home then. <laughs> Thank you. So, um your band Irvikuva released an EP a few months ago. Was it July? Yes. What can, what can you tell about uh, its genesis and about the lyrics? Uh, well, it, yes, it was a two-part two part EP called Unen Jäljet Katoa. Uh, how would you say it in English? The traces of sleep disappear or something like that. And uh, we wanted to do it in two parts. And uh, the genesis of the album, it's, it was the best songs that we had at the moment with a couple of our older songs that we wanted to update because we have a new drummer and he's a beast. So we wanted his touch to the old songs and they are songs that we always, always play live. Yeah. And the lyrics, uh, what can I say, uh, they tell about, well, very Finnish things, death, depression, alcoholism, uh, drug abuse. Uh, almost every song that I've written, the lyrics is about something that I have experienced, drug abuse, alcoholism. And the pain of uh, losing losing my wife. Uh, it's um, yeah. Every song is about something bad, but the end line is uh, about surviving. You can survive everything. Yeah. You can change your so it's, life. It's a very personal uh, EP, and uh, it's a way for you maybe to work also on the past events. Yeah. Yeah, it's it is a really good uh, outlet to let the hate and pain out inside of you and yeah. be free of all that shit. Yeah, yeah, and I think that music helps a lot of people in this way. So yeah, so uh, to the listeners and to the musicians, yeah, I think it's a uh, two-way street. Yeah. And in the album, there is also the participation of your daughter, Neve. Yes. Uh, she's singing. Is she singing just one song? Uh, she more? is the voice, uh, voice in the intro, the crying and laughing child. Um, no children were abused making of this <laughs> album. It was acting. And then she sings... Uh, in uh, Uusi Musta and uh, and Aika Jatkaa Kulkuaan, uh, what is uh, a song about my wife, her mother, yeah. and she sings in that song. It's it's a really, really personal song. And uh, when we have gigs, she's often if the place is uh, not a bar, uh, in Finnish, it's 18 and over in a bar. Uh, so if we have permission, so then she will come to stage with us. Yeah, and I think for her is a great thing to be on the stage so young because she is now, how old she is now? Nine. 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 The, the time flies. <laughs> I remember yeah, that yeah, she really was so was. small. <laughs> and now she yeah. she's a... She's a big girl doing music. She has her own band, right? Yeah, uh, a punk band called Hamara Ponitalli. <laughs> Great name. 
And, uh, 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 grammar of 69 eyes. Jussi 69 said uh, that it was the, it's the best band name ever. Actually, I heard because I, wa I was uh, uh, listening to Radio Rock and you called yeah, yeah. and I, I heard yes. live that uh, comment. <laughs> yeah, so it has to be good if uh, a member of 69 I says so. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, but uh, let's take a look to your past because before you 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 were also a drummer am i right in the past yes. uh, in a uh, moose jewish yes and in discipline x okay because uh i think uh, when i moved to finland one of the first gig that i saw at montu was uh, from from you moose jewish and yeah. uh, I remember that I shared the photos on Facebook, and uh, you you comment uh, you comment in English because you were thinking that may maybe I don't speak Finnish yet. Yeah, my Finnish yeah. was better back then. <laughs> but yeah, I have this memory. Um, are you still playing drums? Um, not in any bands, no. Uh, but I teach my daughter's class in her school. I I am at their music teacher okay. and I I'm starting this year to teach many more classes in her school. Uh, I will do it uh, so often that I can. I have a day job and I'm a single parent and I have Irvi Kuvat and now I have a girlfriend so my there time is, not that is much time free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, I'll do it as often as I can, yeah. and it's uh, free of charge. It's nothing like uh, I get paid for it. Uh, that's not the point. I just want to teach music to children. Yeah, and it's a beautiful, beautiful things because nowadays uh, children are all the time on the phone, so on TikTok and so on. And I think it's important also to give them something else in life. And music is uh, one of the best thing. Art in general and uh, sport are really important for children to, to live like children and to uh, make their brain to grow in the right way. <laughs> I, I don't know if, yeah. if it's a, if it's a good way to say, but yeah, I think that people are, are going to understand what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I think so. I, I develop, understand what you mean. Develop in the right way. That that was the word, <laughs> not grow. Develop. <laughs> yeah, but uh, um, let's talk about uh, metal music. How yes. did you get into metal music? <laughs> Wow, that that's a big question. Um, I think the earliest memories I have uh, when I was about five, six, or seven, I have uh, three older sisters, and they all listen to this uh, UA, uh, this uh, punk rock band from Pori, uh, New Kids on the Block, and uh, boy bands, Bad Boys Blue, those kinds of bands. And I think it was just some kind of rebellion not to listen to that. And then I heard War Pigs from Black Sabbath. Uh, I don't remember where I heard it, but I distinctly remember it was War Pigs. And it was, it was just something so mind-blowing. And I started to research uh, there was no Google or Internet in that time. So library or metal hammer, these kinds of magazines. magazines. Yeah. And uh, Black Sabbath was the first, then quickly became Metallica, Pantera, Guns N' Roses, Queen. And then, then what started to be something else than metal music, but it started from Black Sabbath, Metallica, and those bands. Then Queen, David Bowie, Lou Reed, Sex Pistols. It's the combination of those 
all I think that uh, you hear in our music. Yeah. What's your favorite metal band, if you have one? You can't ask that. <laughs> you can't answer <laughs> it's that. It's a bad question. <laughs> well, maybe I'll uh, I'll be very patriotic and say a Finnish band. Uh, my all-time favorite band is My Karman Kauniit Kuvat. Um, it's been My Karma for a long time. So I say My Karman Kauniit Kuvat is my all-time favorite metal band. How many times have you seen My Karma live? I saw My Karman Kauniit Kuvat about hundred and five hundred or ten times and my karma about eighty eight times so almost two hundred times it's a lot <laughs> it, yeah it, it, it is a lot but but you are a, a hardcore fan <laughs> i am a hardcore fan yeah i have a have their logo as a tattoo and a part of their lyrics is in my white tombstone and so and they are almost uh, they are local yeah. they are from Satakunta. near nakkila where yeah. yes satakunta so it was something spectacular to witness that you can really do it you can succeed no matter where you are yeah it's a good example for everyone yes. that starts music because it's a it's not easy, and uh, there is a lot of challenges, but everybody can uh, can do it. But there is a lot yes. of sacrifice, and uh, you need to be ready to get the chance uh, when it comes. Yeah, it's, well, it's and then it's uh, part hard work and part luck. Yeah, true, true. Uh, what's the best metal album ever, in your opinion? God damn these questions. <laughs> these are hard. These are really hard. I know, I know. Uh, no, no one likes to answer because there are so so many good out there. But I want. I, I'm curious to know what everyone thinks. Well, I think it's uh, one of these three. Metallica, Master of Puppets, Pantera, Walker, Display of Power, and Slayer, Raining Blood. And I will go with the taste of the day, and I'll say Walker, Display of Power by Pantera. Okay, yeah, you choose. Yeah, what's the best gig that you have ever seen? Uh, if we don't count the My Karma gigs. <laughs> Um, it and and it would have would have had not been my karma. Okay. <laughs> it would have been. Uh, it will be the exploited in Tampere Uotalo in two thousand and six, seven, eight, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. You can Google it, <laughs> and you will find the right date. It it was it was pure mass hypnosis. It was full of sweat energy. It it was it it was something else. Uh, I will never forget that gig. Yeah, and there is any gig that you have been that was uh, like the a delusion that you were uh, you had high expectation and then uh, after the gig you were left like uh, it was not that good. Yeah, uh, a few years ago, Guns N' Roses. Okay. for war in Finland. Uh, it was about three hours long. It felt like a week. <laughs> uh, and they they played all the songs that I wanted to hear, but uh, they had like five or six covers, uh, guitar solo spots, drum solo spots. Uh, it was like an opera, rock opera, yeah. not, not a rock and roll gig. It was... It, it was not good. Yeah. It, that, that's the, uh, I had really high expectations. I, I really loved Guns N' Roses, Appetite of Destruction album and the 
late 80s, early 90s era, Guns N' Roses. So I was really hyped, looked forward to it, that gig, but it was a real disappointment. Okay. I have heard other people saying that the gig, not I don't know in Finland, but the, the one in Italy, it was not as good as they were thinking. So, yeah. Uh, I, I think that... Uh, even if I would love to see Guns N' Roses, probably it's better for me to not see them live, to not be disappointed. To yeah, I would recommend that. So don't go see them live. Yeah, so it's it's a pity. Uh, yeah. And uh, what was your first gig? Yeah. Well, I think the first gig that I really loved, surprise, surprise, my car man uh, in uh, 1995 okay. or 96. I was born in 83. I was <coughs> well, 12 or 13. Uh, it, uh, there was this, and there still is Karma Rock. A local local festival they were playing there and it, it was it was really good it was really bizarre their music back then yeah. it wasn't straightforward as it is nowadays it was like <laughs> marginal music jazz and rock and heavy put together like something like system of a down came famous for yeah so more experimental it was back then. Yeah. Yeah. And Karma Rock, Rock how long uh, has been uh, on the summer festival list? I mean, when they start to organize Karma Rock, do you have any idea? I was at the first Karma Rock. Uh, I've been all the Karma Rocks except one. So there's been 30, 30 karma rocks. Okay. And I was 10, 10 when I was at the first karma rock. I was with my big sister. Uh, so it has to be 93, I think, the first karma rock was. Okay. So it's been, it's I'm old. been a I'm lot. Old. I'm really old. Oh, no, you are not old. <laughs> when you are... Uh, around the uh, 90s then you can start to think you are old but i'm i have this uh, this thinking that uh, age is just an, is just a number uh, of course the body change with time and there can be some issues coming but if you are young inside then you don't you don't show your real age yes i am young inside but i have back problems <laughs> that my girlfriend doesn't believe me we can talk in a in a separate separate moment se separate moment <laughs> about your back <laughs> so i can give you some advices so there is Hi. neve hello hello <laughs> she's going she to heard be your voice yeah, she's going to be uh, a big star in the future. Yeah, I, I think so, and I really hope so, so I can retire and just enjoy the money that she brings me every week. <laughs> uh, a dream. <laughs> a dream, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when did you start to sing? Uh, it was... Uh, in 2015 15 or 16 uh, i played the drums for a long time and my left shoulder is uh, really injured i did much uh, power lifting uh, as a teenager and my left shoulder uh, dislocated many times and many other traumas 
to the shoulder and it started to be so uh, it, it it hurt so bad when i played played the drums so i played two or three songs in a set and then it started to hurt it felt like there was a knife in my shoulder yeah. so uh, i i didn't really have a choice i it, they tried everything physical therapy uh medication uh, electricity everything, everything that was available has been tried and nothing helped so uh, i just always wanted to uh, be the singer and my wife at the time said that you really should start singing and then i put together the first band it was rorschach uh, yeah, it was really experimental uh, finished metal and then it was a uh, one hot kuvat we yeah. played cover songs of my karman kaunit kuvat and then then i found my way to irvi kuvat yeah why did you decide to to give the name irvi kuva to the band uh, well, oh, well i think it's uh, it has the both uh, both sides the beautiful and the ugly the good and the bad and uh, i've been called an irvi kuva when i worked as a bouncer and uh, some drunk idiot who i had to show the door said i'm a irvi kuva ihmisen irvi kuva like abomination of man or something and and it got stuck on you in your head and yeah you, yeah um, it got stuck yeah and i remember yeah because we actually met and we became friend uh when you were working in body copy uh, yeah and how was to be there like the security part uh, because there were also some gigs there sometimes uh, you also played there a few times but how, how was to be the that person that go and take those uh, those people those uh, troublemaker people all those two drunk people uh, how does it feel when you get this person <laughs> you kick uh, the person out uh, well, uh, I always uh, thought uh, that being a bouncer is customer service, so I really always really wanted to be nice. And uh, with talking, I could handle many situations, just talking to the person and saying uh, you're acting like an asshole, so be a good person and go out yourself. It, it often helped, but, but sometimes there would be altercations, physical, uh, physical things, and it's, it's, such a, it's such a job. You just have to do it. Yeah. And many people, body copy was really peaceful, and the people that were our customers you know, came at the next day if there was something like this and apologized and said they're really sorry. And I only gave... Uh, how do you say portiki auto in english so the um, um, oh, i i'm getting i'm there so they they were uh, not allowed to get here. not allowed yeah not allowed in our bar so i only gave like two portiki autos in uh, three years four years while i was there and the bar before that montu I gave two or three portikiels at a night, so okay. <laughs> it bar uh, it was it was really a nice, the greatest bar in Pori ever. Yeah, and I think every everyone miss it because it was it was the the bar the I think the the, the only rock metal bar in Pori. Montu was yeah when it when there were gigs. Uh, but if we talk about bar, it was body copy, and it was it was really a a pity that it stopped. And now there is not any more bar for no. metalheads. Uh, there's only uh, 
good uh, live music place is uh, Kulttuurikulma, yeah. which is held by my two former bandmates, Ville Reikko Laaksonen and Niko Laaksonen. Yeah. I played with both of them, great musicians and great guys, and it's, it's a good place. Yeah. And they are keeping the, the, the live music in Pori, at, at least for metalheads and rockers. Up yes. There. Yeah. So, at least something good. <laughs> but yeah. uh, let's get to the random topics. So this is my, my jar with uh, all the topics. And um, let's see. Let's see what you are going to get as first topic. I'm really nervous now. School. So, uh, what did you study? Uh, I am uh, uh, a nurse and a musical therapist. Okay. So you are uh, you. Uh, got your bachelor in nursing and then. Uh, you specialize in a musical therapy. I mean, uh, or, yeah, how does it work? Uh, yeah, I didn't get a therapist degree. I didn't uh, specialize in that, but I did all the suoritin kaikki opinnot. Sitä mä nyt tässä hain, mutta en erikoistunut tuo noin, en hakenut sitä terapeutin erikoistumista. Okay. Pistä vaikka tekstitys tähän väliin. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's interesting. Are you now working as a nurse? Uh, no, uh, I've uh, no, I've been uh, in sales. Uh, oh yeah, about... right. Sorry, I forgot. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> I did uh, bouncing a long time and uh, worked as a nurse, but I've been a sales salesperson about three years, three years now. Do you like it? I like this um, new place I'm in, Lounea. It's the biggest uh, fiber optics uh, company in Finland. And okay. there, I really, really enjoy it there. A great nice. place to work. One of the best places I've ever worked. That's, that's, that's a good thing to be happy about the, the job and um, yeah uh, let's get back to the school thing um, if you think about when you were a kid what kind of uh, student you were a troublemaker <laughs> uh, not a good student I, uh, I wasn't stupid but I was lazy to learn and I was a bad student uh, until uh, the eighth grade and uh, I met uh, my girlfriend at the time who became my wife and uh, she really uh, tamed me down you can say and I started to started to focus on, on school and got my grades up and everything uh, I wasn't lazy anymore Okay, so she changed you, and uh, and you yeah. became a better student. What was your favorite class? A music and uh, music and religion. Okay, so this is pretty pretty new because when I talk about school things, I haven't heard anyone saying religion. So it's it's interesting. Why did you were uh, like into it was like uh, what what did you study in that class did you study the history of r different religions or how was yeah yeah the history of different religions and uh, yeah that's about it that uh, we learned um, i just thought it was fascinating yeah. and still do think it's fascinating i don't know why i really can't answer that yeah, uh, th there are those things that just get our mind on it, and we we are just attracted to to those topics. So there yeah. is not not a reason. Just it's just like this. 
And uh, what was the worst class for you? Math. Oh, I can Math write. and... Uh, well, and it's funny, my daughter Neves' uh, favorite class is math. Really? Oh. Yeah, yeah, and I, I hated it. <laughs> I hated it so much. I, I was really bad at school in general, so uh, I was in my world. Like, uh, I was really calm. I was, you know, quiet little girl in her uh, world because I was not, I, I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> I was just yeah. like uh, there. And every time the teacher was explaining something and then uh, she was saying, uh, did you get everything? And I was just like moving my head like this, but I have no idea what she said all the all the hour. So I was good in uh, all the artistic things like music, poetry, art. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then I was good in a physical activity. But that's it. Everything else was like <laughs> a terrible, a terrible thing. So let's go to the next random topic and let's see what we are going to talk now. Let's take this one. Travels. So do you like to travel? I, I love to travel. Yes. Um, uh... Uh, it's been a long time since I traveled abroad. abroad. Uh, and last time I think was in Sweden. You know, a cruise, cruise to Sweden. And the favorite favorite place where I've been is uh, Holland, Amsterdam. Okay. I was there twice. Uh, first time in my it was our honeymoon, and the second time was our <laughs> second honeymoon. Okay, so in Amsterdam I have been once, and it was was it the was it a bit more than ten years ago, maybe, and uh, yeah I think it was interesting. Uh, uh, th there are a lot of museum, and I'm when I go to holiday somewhere I like to go to see museum, uh, so it I. There were so many people uh, waiting in line to get in the museums. So I was, maybe yeah. this is not going to happen, but at least I got into um, Van Gogh Museum. Uh, yeah, it was, it was really, Muse really beautiful. Yeah, the Diamond Van Gogh Museum. Me. Yeah. Um, and then we went to um, <laughs> a live sex show. And uh, okay. it was it was something else. We left. Uh, it was uh, two, one one hour long. We left in ten minutes. I, I was hurt so bad inside, and my eyes were bleeding. I said, "We have to go." <laughs> I I remember that I saw that there was li li live uh, sex show, and then I was yeah maybe not. But I think that I think I went to the sex museum. Yeah, we were. Uh, that was uh, nice, and then we were in the torture museum. Okay. Then the, was there a was there a cannabis museum? For sure, it is. And uh, I was like uh, that. I want to see the Anne Frank museum. Yeah, yeah, but we were at Anne Frank house. Yeah. Yeah, but I, um, I had not. We were there like four days, so four days are not enough to see everything. Uh, yeah. And uh, then uh, I remember I went uh, to the Heineken experience, and uh, it it was fun. And I remember that most of the people there were Finnish people. <laughs> So I was, yeah. oh, I have uh, okay. people uh, talking in Finnish. I was not fluent in Finnish. So it was like, I understand that they are Finnish at least. <laughs> so Yeah, there were, were a lot of Finnish people there then also. And a lot of their uh, native Holland people were called Jari. Okay. Because of Jari Littmanen, the king of football. Yeah. Yeah. 
what other countries have you been? Um, uh, Eesti, Viro, Sweden, Holland, Germany, Norway, Denmark. Those I can remember at the yeah. top of my head. So, and I really, well, really would love to go. Almost everything in the in the nor northern area of Europe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have still a few few countries that I would like to see, but I'm moneyless, so the, I I still have to wait. Maybe one day, but I would like to go to Iceland and Norway. I'm. Really Norway is really really beautiful. But it's expensive. At least this yeah. is what everybody say. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It is an expensive country, uh, but everything is expensive nowadays. Nowadays, true. Uh, everything after after the Corona pandemic, everything price up has prices. Yes. So it's it's a mess, but maybe one day we will be rich and <laughs> and everything will be better, more easy to travel. <laughs> There is any country that uh, you would like to visit? Oh, yes. Uh, my absolute dream would be Hawaii. Okay. And uh, we, we, we've decided with never that one day we will go there. That's it nice just uh, seems so exotic. Yeah, it's so different from Finland. Yeah, it really, <laughs> it really is. <laughs> So yeah, it's like for many people uh, coming from places uh, where there is no snow and not winter pretty much, or at least there is the winter, but it's not winter, <laughs> if it makes yeah. sense. Uh, for them, like coming to a country like Finland, it's like uh, dreams coming true, seeing uh, the, the snow, the frozen lake, frozen sea is something uh, extra. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe it seems, Finland seems exotic to foreign peoples. <laughs> yeah, true. Now you can hear Rihanna Diamonds, never is singing Diamonds. Okay, so she's giving a performance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 But uh, what what way of travel is your favorite? Um, well, uh, do you mean uh, traveling to other countries? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, uh, do you like more to travel uh, travel with airplane, uh, train, uh, car, uh, bus? Uh, uh, airplane. Yeah, airplane is. I think the, 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 the best option, but I would really like to go to the Orient Express, the yeah. train ride. It would be, I think it would be beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's uh, some, one of those things that uh, if it's possible, you need to try at least one, once in life. Yeah, yeah. Bucket, bucket, bucket list things. Yeah. So... Let's hope that you, you will be able to do it. Yeah, but I'm waiting, waiting for, for never to get rich. Yeah, <laughs> so then you can travel with our money. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll take you and Mika with us. Oh, thank you. <laughs> with uh, never ma money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she will be paying. Okay, okay. <laughs> she's, the, she's the one that is making our uh, travel uh, future. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. She she's the money. <laughs> she's the money maker. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> and but this is a so promise and this is going you're recording this, so Yeah, so it's when going she to be it's a prof. It's approved. Yeah. <laughs> so she cannot say no. <laughs> yeah. No, she can't. Now now it's clear. She will try to hack YouTube and my channel just to get it off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's talk about the, the most important thing. Pizza. Do you like pizza? Yes. I love pizza. So what's your favorite pizza? Uh, 
uh, there's uh, this uh, pizzeria in uh, Harjavalta, near Nakkila, the home place of my karma and karma rock. Uh, pizza mestari, and uh, they have uh, this pizza called uh, mestari pizza. Okay. I think it had uh, has uh, shrimps and uh, ham, cheese. It uh, it's just it's just really good. Okay. So but my favorite the... pizza is uh, I think uh, there would be aura justo, mushrooms, uh, ham, and uh, double cheese and onion. Okay. So. Strong taste <laughs> because yeah. with onions and uh, the uh, aura used to so blue cheese, it's it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it, it, it's good. Yeah, and uh, what's the worst pizza that you ever taste? Worst pizza. Mm. That's a, that's a tough question. I think uh, it was once in uh, Seinäjoki, uh, in Provinci Rock. Okay. I don't remember the name of the pizzeria, but uh, it was supposed to be a, a Quattro Stagioni. And it, it, uh, it was raw and... Uh, full of uh, meat juice or something it was dripping of fat and juice it it, it was horrible okay i did okay. not eat it never never again <laughs> never again yeah no never <laughs> and then let's go to the question the main question of this uh, metal pizza project uh does pineapple belong to pizza does pineapple belong to pizza well um uh, Irvi Kuvat, uh, guitar player, professor, he's a big fan of pineapple in pizza and never likes pineapple in pizza. So I'm a little bit afraid of them both. So I'll say, yes, it belongs to pizza. But you don't eat it. Uh, I will not comment in this. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a, you have never there with a gun like this close to you so we don't see but uh, she's there that uh, she's yeah, listening I'm, what you are saying I can't move the phone. so, so you, you, yeah, you I, cannot I, say <laughs> yeah well it, it depends if there's a lot of strong taste in that pizza so then pineapple I like peaches peaches better than pineapple Okay, I think that peach, peaches is even worse. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I, 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 uh, that was my cultural shock when I moved to Finland, the peaches on, on pizza. <laughs> because I was, what the hell? <laughs> because uh, in Italy yeah. there is not, and uh, there are some pizzeria that offer the Hawaiiana pizza, that is uh, pretty much pizza with pineapple and uh, ham but uh, oh, most of the pizzeria say no to pineapple but peaches is something that it's it was new and and when i moved i was au pair and uh, i remember that the family was like saying yeah we are going to do pizza now you can come and uh, put on your pizza whatever you want and they were putting the those pe piece of uh, peach on the uh, caramel peach not caramel uh, si the, the one with syrup yeah the packaging, the packaging. Yeah. and for me was the weirdest <laughs> thing in the world <laughs> yeah, yeah I, can, I can believe that but uh, you you grow up with it in in finland so it's not a curiosity it's just it's just normal yeah so it's, it, it was like, what's going on? But yeah, I'm like, uh, for me, for example, pineapple doesn't belong to pizza, but I don't care if someone else wants to eat because until it's not on my pizza, everything is fine. <laughs> and you're from the birthplace of pizza. You're, it's, you're Italian, so your, yeah. your word goes. 
Yeah, I think there are some Italians that like pineapple on pizza, but I think they are afraid to tell it. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, they, like they, 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 they are afraid to be judged and uh, screamed by people. <laughs> yeah, I think it's can... like the opinion thing that you you're afraid to say that you look uh, salatu telamat at at the television. Yeah. It's the same with the pineapple in pizza. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I think that. Uh, there are other countries that offer pizza with other fruits on it. I think that it was Sweden with banana and strawberry. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that that that's the worst. <laughs> so it was. It's it's interesting uh, to see how around the world different kind of pizza exist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had that pizza in Sweden. It had strawberries. And banana, I, 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 I just thought, yes, yeah, of course I'll try it. When in Rome, that's right. And uh, no, it, it doesn't belong there. <laughs> I never tried, and I think I will never try. I would, you know, uh, it will sound good, or yeah, in my opinion, it will sound sounds good like a dessert. So, like it exists, a pizza with Nutella. But this could be like pizza with uh, um, white cream, banana, and strawberry. I think that it can work. But yeah, <laughs> to uh, well, you you go pay that to a local pizzeria in Ulovila or Pori, and they will name it the Christina Pizza. The Christina the Christina dessert pizza. <laughs> Yeah, just to you know, make confused people. But uh, maybe something that you don't know. I, in the other episode, I talk with some of uh, of the Italians people because in Italy uh, there is uh, this pizza with the French fries on it. So French fries pizza is uh, a thing in Italy, and I think it's also a weird pizza. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> But for children is something that maybe they are more happy. <laughs> Some I remember yeah, you can have it. You can have it in Finland also, and no, it just doesn't belong. But one of the weirdest pizzas in is in uh, Nakkila, uh, Ravintola Vanha Kirjaka. But uh, there's boiled egg and uh, potatoes uh, in the pizza, and it was it was really good. Oh, that egg is a thing, uh, but I don't know if if it's about the boiled egg because in Italy there is this uh, pizza coco, and uh, they put the egg on the top, but it's not uh, boiled. So it's yeah, this was boiled, like, like on the pan. But then I, I I I don't know why I have in a, in the back of my mind I don't know why I'm not sure, but I think that. I tried a pizza with uh, uh, potatoes on it, not French fries, potatoes uh, pieces, but yeah. I don't remember where. It was in Italy, I think, or maybe it was in Slovenia. Uh, no, it was in Italy for sure. I, I, I just once in Slovenia pizza, so no, it, it was not that. But I don't, I, I, have, I have to ask, ask someone if is this me that I remember thing that doesn't exist, or I eat something like this somewhere? I I have this this sensation. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think it's real. You you have you have eaten it. It may be, and I like potatoes, so yeah. <laughs> win win. Win win. True. Uh, but yeah, uh, we have done with this interview. So thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure to have you here, and uh, I just want to remember to all the people that are uh, watching this interview, uh, to if you want anyone uh, from the metal community to be guest in Metal Pizza, drop in the comments uh, the name of the person, and I will try to get in touch with them and uh, make it happen. But. Pastori, do you want to say something to the people watching this interview? Uh, don't, don't eat pineapple, pineapple and stay metal. metal.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kiitos.